3,800 to 4,000 for fresh crab. Sorry, like, well, okay, doctor. One more time. <laughs> Rubber for um like uh, 3,500 to 4,000 for lah. fresh graduates. Yes. Oh my God. Saya right. speechless. <laughs>
Alright, uh, we do have a diploma in physiotherapy. Yeah, diploma in physiotherapy basically uh, the one that we um, we produce. Yeah, uh, the graduates that we produce can work at the hospital as a physiotherapist. Okay. Yeah, uh, whereby we, I mean, uh, we equip them with the uh, theory knowledge as well as practical. Normally, they do the practical at the hospital. For example, mm -hmm. the main hospital is our hospital, yes. uh, MSU Medical Center, uh, at the rehab center. Yeah. So at the end of three years, they can become a certified. Uh, and qualified physiotherapists. Ah, I see. So like, for example, because uh, our topic for today for this health and science is beyond the lab code, yeah, right? So all these, all these programs and courses that helps a doctor uh, because yeah. I know that most like generally and stereotypically people like always compliments. Mm. Thank you, doctor, mm. for this. Mm. Thank you, my son is all cured of mm. you because of you. Mm. Uh, this cancer, he has recovered. Thank you, doctor. But we know that behind <laughs> every doctor is a team yeah. that is working very hard for one patient or many patients. So yes. like, so doctor, is there any in particular that you like to highlight that yeah. helps a doctor in these certain right. tough times, especially uh, post-pandemic? I would like to start uh, as a, in, in the eyes of school liver. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, after after like you have your uh, formal education at schools, can and then uh, me myself, um, I'm very keen or interested to join this health science uh, bidang ni because of I admire, I love the the kind of lab coat too when when i see people yang ada lab coat tu i rasa wow hebatnya apa yang dia orang buat kat lab tu ya so it it develop from there yeah when when we see i mean orang luar akan nampak okay dekat hospital tu ada doktor but sebenarnya di sebalik doktor tu is a team ya yeah? dekat hospital tu is a team uh, we call it as health science team lah which is kita ada um Especially, uh, di, when, kalau kita nak relate dengan COVID pula, kita kata uh, kita ada frontliner, right? Yes, true. Okay. The frontliners itself is a health science uh, community lah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Whereby kita ada uh, medical lab technologies or uh, biomedical scientists. Yeah? Kalau dia ambil biomedical science tu, we call it as biomedical scientists, MLT, medical lab technologies, and we do have oh. nursing. Mm. Uh, we call it as now... Uh, Previously, we got as medical assistant, but now we got it as loma in um, medical science and health. Yeah, together, yeah, uh, hand by, uh, hand to hand with the doctor to ensure that our patient ataupun community kita uh, maintain ataupun improve dia punya uh, health status. I uh, see. Uh, but there's I, some way I read before in terms of we're talking about post pandemic and all yeah. since all these things that you mentioned about nurses, doctors, mm. uh, medical lab technologists. Mm. Uh, there's something to do with heart i forgot what is it called what is it called again doctor i forgot it's it's like a course related to the heart a uh, bachelor you mean cardiac cardiac yes cardiovascular <laughs> right. something what is okay. it all about doctor? this is very famous actually i've been asked yeah i mean every week as uh, some some sometimes can parent ask ask me what about the bachelor cardiovascular technology cardiovascular actually, technology as BCT. BCT. this is the first offered i mean program offered uh, in malaysia as well as in asia in malaysia yeah, and asia we are the first university who offered this program so now that is interesting guys <laughs> first in malaysia and yeah. asia all right don't don't forget, you know. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so we call it, uh, the acronym is BCT, Bachelor Cardiovascular Technology, whereby we uh, prepare the graduates or we prepare the students at the end of four years, they be can become a, a cardiac technologist. Yeah? Mm. Cardiac technologist is a new, it's, it's not new actually, but uh, previously, these cardiac technologists to been trained, was trained when they involve in the work. For example, if they are uh, uh, working in Institute Janturanggara, for example, IJN, IJN, they've been trained to become a, a cardiac technologist. But now, uh, without working, I mean, we develop the cardiac technology from the fresh, from uh, STPM or ah. from matriculation or maybe from diploma. Yeah. Okay. So they need to undergo four years program uh, to become their cardiac technology. And I'm proud to say that our graduates, whereby we do have few batches already graduates, they are so kita kata laku keras lah. 
Alhamdulillah. Uh, betul. Bergaduh eh, doktor doktor yeah. di luar negara. Jadi jadi kita kata macam let's say kata uh, from the third year tu okay. itself so hospital years. hospital did contact us to get ataupun orang kita kata to booking. Eh. To booking. Oh. So we need to we need to arrange okay these two student for this hospital these two student for this hospital. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yeah. Look at the job so, opportunity yeah. here. All right. Mm. So like, I'm sure we've talked about BCT, the mm. uh, cardiovascular technology. We yeah. talk about physiotherapy. We talk about nurses and such. Mm-mm. I'm sure they are wondering who, you know, siapa, uh. siapa, can I do that? Can I, mm. best you know, jadi, boleh ke saya doktor nak pergi ke jurusan itu? Doktor? Boleh, boleh. Ha. Rajin belajar tak? Ah, saya ke? Yeah. Alhamdulillah dengan itu saya sudah kami <laughs> saya doktor. Kamu doktor pun saya tahu. Saya alumni di Mesir. Yeah, ya, yeah, ah, Tania, ya alumni Mesir. Bila kita bercakap pasal health sciences ni, uh, of course uh, the candidate atau potential student kita tu adalah daripada mereka yang minat bidang science, of course. Okay. Uh, then uh, kita kalau untuk diploma, diploma student, I mean diploma program, uh, dia, I mean uh, lepasan sekolah dari SP M dan dia uh, pelajar tersebut potensial student tu mestilah ada subjek sains okay. dia lulus SPM 5 uh, kredit 5 kredit dengan uh, subjek tiga subjek sains uh, termasuklah kalau dia ada ambil applied sains pun boleh uh, sains sain gunaan sains uh, gunaan, gunaan atau uh, tapi uh, dengan kredit uh, matematik and English uh, itu syarat dia lah itu um, ok syarat untuk diploma ini pelbagai itu adalah antara yang common common lah uh, itu untuk common, jawapan lah uh, entrance, entrance yeah, requirement for bachelor also they are various but uh, for BCT let's say uh, tadi kita cakap pasal BCT kan Betul. so for BCT uh, maybe is quite higher for bachelor biomedical science also is quite higher whereby student need to have STPM kelulusan untuk SPM to, uh, STPM 2.5 and kredit dalam uh, subjek sains and SPM dia juga mesti kredit dalam subjek sains okay. uh, at least tiga kredit subjek sains lah and also if mereka dari diploma lepasan diploma uh, mereka uh, diploma MSU ataupun diploma daripada institusi lain mesti at least dia punya minimum requirement adalah uh, 2.75 uh, hmm. minimum requirement 2.75 dia punya CGPA tapi untuk matriculation uh, for example biomedical science they need to have 2.33 but dia akan tengok balik SPM dia I see ah, macam tu. so listen there out there mm. all our friends mm. from other institutions mm. that just finished their diploma and then yeah. I don't feel like I want to do my degree at that university <laughs> so you want to come to MSU 2.75 that's not yeah. a bad offer you know come yeah. to you alright so you can choose any of the bachelor's in life science programs alright mm. so doctor just now we talk about the requirements lah in terms of mm. their ac- academic quality yeah. what about themselves you know for example like especially our SPM and STPM leavers eh, they've just mm-hmm. finished their school and then they're like mm-hmm. they are still you know self-discovering about yeah. themselves and they're like okay doctor saya ni pendiam apa yang kau sesuai dengan saya saya ni suka baca je apa sesuai dengan saya mm-hmm. ha, gitulah mm-hmm. those kind of thoughts mm-hmm. mesti ada dalam pemikiran mm-hmm. all these SPM mm-hmm. and STPM leavers mm-hmm. what do you okay. suggest apa yang kita tengok lah daripada kita punya I mean uh, alumni kita ataupun the current student kita kan Uh, normally if the students too they are very um, keen in uh, knowing something new yeah they they like to read they like to research something new so the best uh, and they they need to to know something what happened to their body human body clinical aspect yeah? uh, so the best uh, program uh, mungkin dia boleh masuk i mean dia, dia boleh try biomedical science Ah, okay. uh, biomedical science biomedical science is um, uh, we learn about human body uh, uh, like me myself I'm biomedical science holder uh, my master I mean my degree my master and my PhD in uh, like science mm. so um, um, means that they suka explore new things uh, pasal uh, kesihatan manusia pasal macam mana nak maintain for example kita ada COVID-19 last time kan so people yang dalam lab yang yang explore macam mana the virus tu boleh berubah daripada satu strain kepada strain yang lain macam mana kita nak produce the antibody um, something yang macam nak produce ubat uh, so adalah people from biomedical science 
I see. Uh, dia dia macam dia dia punya rajin lah. Dia rajin nak baca, nak tahu pasal head science ni dengan secara mendalam. Tapi uh, katakanlah kalau dia suka um, solo. I mean tak tak adalah kata solo. Dia macam dia prefer dia, to dia be prefer. Dia, dia, nak, dia nak tahu pasal mata je. For example. Ah, maksudnya dia nak special dia or something. Dia special pasal mata. Dia nak check mata je. Dia tak nak belajar. Dia, dia tak nak dia nak, mendalam dia nak dalam eye focus yeah, lah eh. dia tak nak oh. jantung tak nak dia belajar lah basic basic jantung anatomy physiology uh, <coughs> basic kan kalau from SPM liver tu dia boleh uh, ambil dulu uh, diploma in ophthalmic dispenser mm-hmm. uh, dispensing diploma in ophthalmic dispensing we call it as DOD DOD ni basically kita prepare our students tu to become a good entrepreneur okay. uh, whereby dia can they know how to manage their optical shop they know how to manage their staff basically and they they, they are very um, good in uh, product knowledge especially the lens the spectacles the frame they tahu yeah? ah. and then uh, but at, at, at that current junction means uh, uh, kalau dia ada diploma uh, dia tidak sentuh lagi lah bagian klinikal that's why student yang DOD kita dia memang dia terus progress kepada bachelor bio, uh, bachelor optometrist dalam see. bachelor optometrist tu barulah dia akan belajar untuk tengok the clinical aspect mata seseorang uh, passion kita panggil passion lah so dia akan cari passion dia for example for one semester they need to have 100 patient uh, and uh, throughout four years tu they, they need to have like 1000 uh, hours Uh, of clinical experience uh, semua tu kita ukur uh, so oh, uh, within the four years tu so basically yang saya nampak keistimewaan MSU ni whereby kita ada uh, DOD ni juga adalah yang pertama kita offer di di Malaysia ya yeah, di 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 MSU ni pertama kita ada diploma of tamik dispensing ni Ophthalmic dispensing, dispensing. Oh. means that uh, so bukan lagi orang bagi mata ke apa kan kalau kita bahasa mudahnya kita kata macam mana dia belajar nak potong kaca lah nak potong oh, lens ha. saya, 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 saya dengar dispensing Dis- tu saya ingat orang Okay, dispen- mata, mata. Uh, dispen mata. Oh, tak ada lah. Takut lah. Ibu takut. Nak dispen, nak merahasikan spectacles tu. Nak merahasikan sp- spek mata tu. So, like they work in hand in hand in business lah. It goes well, very well lah with yeah. our entrepreneurial mindset. Um, lah, eh. Because because this is the first, uh, I mean, uh, bila kita offer DOD and they progress kepada uh, Bachelor of Optometries tu, uh, memang... Uh, In fact, the company uh, whereby dia pergi, dia pergi buat internship tu, the feedback from the um, we call we call it as the, uh, um, the company yang uh, employers dia okay. tu kan. So dia kata student yang daripada DOD, daripada diploma, ini dia sambung BOP ni memang well versed on the uh, product knowledge and they know how to uh, produce a very good uh, spec. I mean spectacles lah macam me mata so they, uh, oh, so they have both strong foundation yes. dalam business aspect and then also clinical the clinical like. aspect yes oh, that's very good that's a very good combination mm-hmm. I've heard very well about those things like for example like uh, myself I'm a uh, alumni for bachelor's in psychology mm-hmm. so most of my other classmates they also took counselling so yeah. they had the same un- understanding in yes. the terms of having a strong foundation in both that's very good I, yeah. that's really neat. and 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 one more which mm-hmm. I need to highlight whereby if the student from the OD they continue to to do bachelor optometrics they will get one year exemption so uh, so is is whereby they can um, save their time save their money mm-hmm. can they through progress so cepatlah cepatlah oh. habis Okay, mm. wait, I know, what, are you getting bored? No, listen well, I know, <laughs> I know all you people like, you know, mm. doctor, thank you for all this info, but please tell me, what is the most popular? Oh, yeah. I'm sure now it's all trending, trending, okay, trending, doctor. Okay. So, what is the most popular cost? Okay, boleh tak, sebelum I nak jawab yang most popular tadi, mm. I nak sambung sikit lagi. Uh, mm, boleh, to, to, to students yang passion dalam bidang, I mean, uh, yang suka suka tengok movie, suka tengok movie, for example, movie. CSI. CSI, oh. You suka tak? Saya CSI. Suka. Suka. Saya suka tengok lah, dia orang letak tip lah, tengok cari uh, ibu jari lah tu, semua. Tengok dalam dinding, ada peluru lah, ada betul lah, uh, tapi betul tu semua adalah fake <laughs> tak maksud saya it's not that easy to get the evidence oh it's yeah? not that easy okay. yeah so 
uh, we we have four years program. We mm-hmm. call it as Bachelor of Forensic Science, whereby they they learn how to process the evidence to get the the answer. For example, the answer of of any of the criminal. Yeah, I mean, uh, jenayah yang berlaku. Tapi sebenarnya saya just nak share. Sometimes kan, uh, student say, uh, doctor, I tak suka sebenarnya jenayah ni kasar lah. I, I tak berani lah tak apa you boleh ambil forensic science tapi sebenarnya tak semestinya you kena kerja dalam bidang jenayah forensic science is the very good uh, chemist actually because in MSU in FHLS um, the forensic science tu kita tekankan uh, chemistry subject whereby 3% of their subject tu adalah covered on chemistry so when dia lulus uh, forensic science tu Basically, dia ada good chemist. So, dia can, boleh bekerja dalam bidang food industry, drug industry. For example, last time, kalau you masih ingatlah ada satu coklat. I tak perlu cakap lah kan. Dia punya uh, branding hmm. dia tu coklat tu. Sekejap dia halal. Bila halal, kita pun belilah makan. Lepas tu, kita eh, tiba-tiba tak halal pula. Tiba-tiba tak halal pula. Kita pun, hmm. alamak, buang lah kan. Betul kita makan. Macam tu, sebenarnya, one of the... Um, so, so, kerajaan kita buat satu board of... Um, investigator mm-hmm. uh, to investigate uh, the actual status of this ah. chocolate kan so one of the uh, members kat situ adalah forensic sign so ah. dia tak perlu pun nak siasat orang yang meninggal ke apa dia boleh bekerja dalam Nanti. bidang macam boleh tu boleh nak cari gelatin tak ada gelatin nak yes halal tak halal ah, kan ah, ah, macam tu lepas tu satu lagi anak tambah um, katakanlah dia dia minat bidang sains okay, contohnya eh, minat bidang sains. dia minat bidang sains tapi dia tak nak bekerja dalam lab Ah, mau dia tak, tak nak lah doktor lab. I tak nak lah I nak buat bidan saya tapi I nak kerja dalam lab I rasa tak nak lah kerja dalam tu so dia boleh ambil bachelor health science management health science management apa ah, tu health science management means that dia manage uh, people yang dalam bidang health science ni for example macam mana nak manage satu hospital apakah uh, uh, pekerjaan-pekerjaan yang sepatutnya ditawarkan oleh oleh ataupun apakah member-members uh, ahli yang patut ada dalam satu hospital. So hmm. dia lebih dia boleh bekerja dalam bidang HR dekat hospital tu ataupun administrative administrative oh. bagian data patient data so dia adalah uh, kita, dia akan kita akan equipkan era 4 years punya program juga kita kata bachelor health science management. Hmm. Ataupun kalau you you minat tak kerja yang tak perlu duduk dalam office tak perlu duduk dalam office maksudnya macam mana tu you terkinja-kinja kat luar Ter- dekat mana dekat <laughs> dekat padang ke ah, ah, apa tu apa yang boleh apa ataupun, options tu ataupun ok um, kita ada diploma occupational safety and health Oh, safety officers. Uh, yeah safety officer and also uh, bachelor <coughs> environmental health environmental uh, health ok so basically kita akan be- dia, mereka akan belajar basic science um, yang terlibat dengan uh, human safety and health lah. But dia akan pergi dekat uh, factory, dia akan pergi kat luar, dia ambil sampel air, sampel udara, sampel tanah, macam tu. So, um, dia ada uh, safety officer lah basically. Uh, especially uh, dekat construction. Dan safety officer ni, uh, untuk student uh, diploma OSH ni, dia adalah student yang sangat, dia kuris, uh, curiosity dia tinggi juga, tinggi. macam forensic science, tapi dia dia lebih suka menggunakan dia punya psychomotor. Oh. Dia tak boleh duduk diam dalam kelas, macam tu. Dia nak kena, dia belajar teori sikit dan dia praktiskan kat luar. Oh, ini uh, adalah, tadilah. Tadilah OSH, OSH, OSH tadi, oh. Occupational Safety and Health. Dan Occupational Safety and Health ni, uh, Occupational Safety and Health ni, dia sangat... Um, Critical menyokong lah. ya oh. sangat kritikal especially untuk industri hmm, uh, industri that's why um, antara uh, program kita yang agak banyak uh, demand lah demand agak tinggi yeah. so based on our statistic and our past uh, uh, result apa past for students what is yeah. the most popular course uh, most popular course okay most popular course so far the latest one yang kebabum lah kita kata kan <laughs> <Yes. laughs> popular uh, ya yeah, popular is BCT lah bachelor cardiovascular, bachelor cardiovascular technology, technology. Okay. Yeah. yang right. evergreen bachelor biomedical science biomedical yang popular science. sekarang even uh, boleh katakan every week tu ada je parents akan call saya or the faculty members to know further about um, bachelor cardiovascular technology yeah, that one is most, most popular okay. eh tadi you cakap kat saya suka jogging kan ah dia betul ah, ah. ok ada ada ke mungkin ke kos yang pasal ada ini? ada yang pasal cardiovascular bukan bukan eh? oh. uh, sport science oh 
sport diploma science. Diploma sport science. Okay. Alright. Okay. Kenapa dengan diploma, diploma sport, sport science? science? Diploma sport science ni. Um, okay. Uh, untuk mereka yang suka sport. Of course. Untuk mereka yang suka menjaga kesihatan. Uh, physical dia. Tapi uh, katakanlah kalau saya. Dia kata dia tak pandai sport pun. Lihatlah kaki bangku. For example okay. lah kan. Okay. Tapi uh, sebenarnya sport science ni. Of course dia, kita akan prepare student kita. Untuk menjaga. Uh, untuk. Um, Uh, certain, certain game uh, dia pandai bermain plus uh, dia akan menjadi kita panggil game planner dia oh. plan untuk that game for example macam kita kata uh, bola sepak kan untuk menang sesuatu game tu dia ada strategi dia jadi orang yang orang yang bertanggungjawab untuk mereka cipta strategi tu adalah mereka daripada background uh, sport science macam oh. tu ataupun dia nak bekerja dalam uh, gym Ataupun you 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 cuba you bagi contoh trainer physical trainer physical trainer yes yeah. betul Pers- uh, uh-huh. yang, yang jadi kalau kat gym ni ada personal trainer semua yes. so most of them adalah background yang kuat yes. solid bukan lalu main cakap je buat ni buat tu tapi betul. it's solidified in knowledge yes lah, kan? and the most interesting interesting things is from the sport science diploma sport science tu diambil pula bachelor nutrition Oh, ah, itu lagi holistic, itu lagi ah, super so maknanya bila dia ambil bachelor hmm. nutrition ni dia boleh bekerja ataupun dia, dia sendiri boleh uh, open up spa for example so spa yang memang complete lah dengan uh, uh, trainer gym trainernya and dengan uh, nutrition punya basic knowledge yang uh, bukan basic knowledge lah nutrition punya knowledge tadi tu pun dia boleh gunakan untuk advice people macam mana untuk mengekalkan uh, kesihatan dalam pada tahap yang optimum ah. you kena beza kalau nutrition nutritionist dengan uh, dietitian dietitian untuk dia menjaga orang sakit dietitian dietitian okay. tapi kalau nutritionist yang kita offer ni bachelor nutrition ni un- bagaimana kita nak advise people untuk mengekalkan kesihatan dia pada tahap optimum ah. for example okay. uh, uh, atlet sports okay. kan uh, ataupun celebrity ok betul uh, ataupun macam orang yang nak uh, kekalkan berat badan nak menurunkan berat badan understood uh, macam macam saya lah hey. <laughs> Okay uh, tapi belum berjaya ya insyaAllah saya cuba lagi ya yeah, insyaAllah yeah. doktor uh, kalau menjawab. kita menjawab sangat soalan <laughs> tu doktor so kalau macam right. kita dah cakap popular kan hmm. adakah popular equals to you know sebab sekarang ni memang tough times lah betul yeah. tak kan so okay, macam ada I know apa, I ah, apa you nak dah, 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 agak-agak dah tahu dah so, saya rasa macam kering lah saya punya wallet sikit ni so adakah hmm. kerja-kerja most popular ni high income yes doctor. definitely it relates lah It is in in indirectly relate ataupun kita kata directly pun memang relate for example saya tadi saya sebut pasal cardiovascular kan okay. so um, is the average income yeah for average that? income if they are fresh grad uh, normally employers tu they can offer like uh, three 3,800 to 4,000 for fresh grad sorry lah well, okay doctor one more time <laughs> rather for um like 3,000 Uh, 3,500 to 4,000 lah. For fresh graduates? Yes. Jealous tak? Okay. Saya Alright. speechless. <laughs> 3,500 to 4,000. Oh, yeah, itu itu kalau, itu itu saya bercakap average kalau dia bekerja dekat hospital lah. Betul. But for like, um, optometrist kan. Okay, optometrist. Dia, mungkin dia, maybe maybe untuk dia become a good uh, or senior optometrist, they need to work uh, with the company lah. Like uh-huh. one year or two years. They gain experience how to, uh, nama buka business dia tu. And after that, dia buka sendiri. Dia punya, um, apa optometrist outlet for example ah uh, yang tu lagilah ke babum dia punya gaji dia itu dah bukan gaji lah itu macam business lah wow uh, okay, business understood. dia so business tu for example kan uh, our student pun if they start with one uh, optometrist outlet they can end up with two or three in like three years five years maybe five years dia dah boleh ada dua optometrist outlet macam tu oh that's so, quite a lot Uh, kita tak perlu kira lah gaji dia kan ah, betul kita, <laughs> saya hanya boleh mampu doa lah kepada mereka <laughs> mana lah tahu ada nak Business sponsor can, saya ke itulah. kan hmm. so alright so itulah antara basic soalan lah yang hmm. saya nak tanya ke doktor doktor hmm. tapi kita dalam MSU Talks Podcast ni kita hmm. juga membuka ruang you know, we open op- in our, all our platforms right we open the opportunity for all our future MSUians and current MSUians who is doing diploma and you know other courses who like to ask questions eh? so if you have any other questions for future MSU Talks programs, just you know, drop a comment. So for today, we have also opened some questions, doctor. All so right. these are the questions for from our Instagram story and mm. such. So first question, doctor. Ha. Oh, 
very interesting. They ask about the of- ophthalmic dispensing and correct. optometry, right? So okay. we've answered that question, uh, Mister. Yeah. So, all right. The second question: Is it easy to get internship placement in Malaysia for bioinformatics students? All right. So, uh, internship placement, yeah. So bioinformatics. Um, uh, so far, uh, so far we do have uh, um, not not to say a lot of varieties of um, company we do accept our student to do their uh, internship placement. For example, uh, because bioinformatics is a combination of uh, medical or science combined with computer science. Okay, so um, many company yang relate with data analysis. Um, or maybe if you want to work with government, can you can work in in uh, FRIM, CIRIM, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, because bioinformatic ni is is a uh, is a combination. Tadi kan, I cakap, for example, kalau mungkin I tak sentuh tadi kan uh, di uh, program bioinformatic tu, uh, mungkin kalau you all nak relate kan for the students ni, new I mean uh, school level ni, you nak relate, you pernah tengok tak cerita um, Spiderman? Yes, of course betul. kan okay, Spider-Man, Spider-Man kan Spider-Man you tengok tak uh, waktu dia cuba generate tangan palsu to that professor tu dia betul. gunakan uh, DNA uh, yes. sequence Dr. Octopus lah ya yeah, Dr. Octavius, Octopus yes. tu ok so actually that's the basic of bioinformatics they use the information from the medical or health uh, knowledge and they will apply into the uh, I mean they, they use the uh, computer science Uh, data aspect. analysis too as a tool for them to create the new things uh, for for human basically does this include like if they make prosthetic prosthetic does and that include yeah and now we have AI right yes in- ah, I agree. so the bioinformatics student basically they, they learned about this a long time ago uh, and they 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 For example, they need to produce, they, they can produce, um, mungkin, mungkin kita boleh relate AI yang dia produce, dia, contoh, contohnya nak, nak check mata, uh, nak check mata tu, bu, kalau dulu kita check mata tu, kita nak tahu je, um, kita nak tahu spek power berapa kan. But now, bila kita ada AI ni, kita bukan boleh tahu je power spek kita tu, tapi kita boleh tahu uh, kita punya health status kita, kita ada disease ke tak, cara untuk kita makan, apa makanan yang bagus, apa senaman yang bagus, berapa jam kita boleh bersenam, kita patut bersenam, uh, itu semua ada dalam AI. AI tu basically is a bioinformatic punya punya uh, knowledge ataupun area. Hasil diorang lah, dia dia orang. So, so back to the question tu, uh, for the internship program tu, memang tak tak susah lah nak cari and just to to share with uh, uh, our graduates yeah, uh, from bioinformatics they been accepted to work in Malaysia not only Malaysia but well was up to the uh, I mean international for example uh, Singapore and also Brunei Ah, memang okay. memang terbukti lah bila kita buat tracer study kan untuk alumni kita banyak yang kerja dalam Malaysia as well as dekat Singapura dan juga dekat uh, Asia yang Asia. berhampiran lah uh, mungkin dia tak nak tinggalkan mak ayah dia jauh-jauh kan ah. uh, tapi basically they, they can they can work further understood so hmm. doctor next question yeah What are the advantages of being involved in a professional organization for health science students? Oh, okay. All right. So, I think they're talking about uh, bodies. Bodies, yeah. Mm, okay. Saya bagi contoh biomedical science lah kot, yeah? Okay, biomedical science. All right. For example, the professional bodies for biomedical mm-hmm. science, we call it IBMS, International Biomedical Science, which uh, comprises of seven, 74 countries. Right. worldwide that's a lot of so countries. when um, actually next week okay this is the the latest news lah next week we we going to receive a visit from IBMS just to to come and visit us because we already have the accreditation for from IBMS since uh, since um, 2016 okay. Okay. Yeah, for this program, biomedical science. So when they have accreditation from IBMS, basically our biomedical science graduates they can uh, work uh, worldwide. They can work any 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 place, any country that they want. They means that they punya syllabus tu di, boleh diguna pakai di negara-negara lain. Wow! So ah. listen there, everyone. Biomedical 
is a well accredited and well acknowledged yeah. all right and and i want i nak tambah sikit ya yeah? yes, we'll uh, and also professional bodies like for um bct bct okay uh, BCT program itself uh, kita develop tu with the with the combination of ataupun dengan kerjasama kita panggil um, CVT Society. CVT Society ni Malaysian Society of Cardiovascular. So means that uh, jadi program kita tu akan diterima pakai ataupun diiktiraf uh, oleh uh, CVT punya society. In fact kita ada in fact kita ada student dari banyak student daripada luar negara mm-hmm. yang hantar studentnya ke sini untuk belajar BCT dekat kita. For example ah. kita ada from Bahrain, Bahrain and then from Brunei untuk belajar okay. BCT dekat kita because program kita tu telah diiktiraf oleh CVT punya society. I see. Is this a CVT society in Malaysia or Malaysia, international? Inter, Malaysia and international. I see. Uh, and for forensic science, uh, we have uh, we been uh, awarded or accredited by the National Chemistry um, Jabatan Kimia Negara. Uh, Jabatan I Kimia see. Malaysia lah. Jabatan yes. Kimia Malaysia. Whereby it's quite difficult to get this accreditation for Jabatan Kimia but we do have that accreditation. See again. And also one OSH. By one. OSH. OSH. S- Safety officer. Yes, yeah, safety officer. Uh, yeah. um, we have, uh, I mean, uh, acknowledged by the Department of OSH. D-O, D-O-S-H, yeah, Department of OSH. So, dia mengenal, I mean, dia mengiktiraf lah sudah-sudah kita. Uh, since kita. we're talking about each course and their bodies, yeah. one of the other questions I received was, What about nurses? How to be a registered ah, nurse? Okay, registered nurse. All right. Okay, we do have a uh, three related program, uh, three related nursing program whereby we have bachelor in nursing. Yes. We have diploma in nursing as yes. well as we have advanced diploma in midwifery. You tahu ke midwifery tu apa? Uh, midwife, diploma? Wife, diploma in midwifery. Advanced diploma. Advanced diploma in midwifery. So let Agak, me get, okay, apa? It's, it's advanced, it's diploma, and midwife kalau saya direct translate dia isteri tengah <laughs> alright boleh boleh tak nak gelak sekejap ok uh, it's a bidan oh bidan ha, bidan Aduh. untuk bersalin yeah, so jangan percaya good, <laughs> eh, direct translate ok people ok so bidan. kita um, memang bachelor nursing kita uh, diploma nursing kita as well as kita punya ADM we call it ADM advanced diploma in midwife free memang kita sponsor i mean uh, sensed ataupun kita dikawal uh, oleh lembaga jururawat Malaysia ya yeah? uh. so memang kita akan ikutlah setiap uh, apa nama uh, requirement uh, dari segi uh, qual- uh, apa nama kita panggil qualification entrance kan dari segi uh, syllabus uh, dari segi exam even at the end of their study they need to sit for lembaga jururawat punya peperiksaan peperiksaan lembaga jururawat to become a certified um, ataupun untuk untuk get untuk dapatkan lesen jururawat tu Uh, jadi kita memang tak ada kita tak perlu risau lah bekerja di mana-mana hospital di dalam ataupun luar negara in fact kita ada alum- alumni kita yang bekerja dekat UK sekarang UK. sebagai nurse di sana uh, dan juga di uh, Arab pun Arab. ada oh, hmm, kita ada nurse di sana eh? yeah. hmm. nurse di sana di, di, di luar negara Menggun- dan mereka itulah I'm very proud lah saya sangat bangga mereka itulah daripada MSU Alhamdulillah Graduates. so okay mm. if you don't feel like becoming a nurse in Malaysia saya tak nak lah jaga-jaga pakcik Melayu ni <laughs> ni nak pergi luar negara lah, nak jaga pakcik Arab sana Mm-mm. that's an option <laughs> alright uh, yeah. so doctor so we have come near the end of our podcast do you have any other final words to our you know future MSU students who would like to join MSU one day satu je yang pesan saya memang memang uh, health sciences ni kita kata kalau kita tengok tu you kena belajar of course kena belajar tapi you, kita kena ingat ya kita bersusah-susah dahulu bersenang-senang kemudian ya kita belajar dulu sementara kita masih muda you all masih muda otak cergas badan sehat belajar cuburi bidang health science ni jangan jangan risau kita idea uh, uh, kita ada banyak, ramai ya lecturer yang qualified, lecturer yang penyayang macam I sekarang ya yang ada sekarang ni kita ada lecturer yang akan menjaga you, akan mengajar you daripada basic sampailah you berjaya sama ada you bersama kita 3 years ataupun 4 years tu insyaAllah kita akan pastikan you dapatlah apa yang you inginkan 
dan uh, pesan saya juga you dah sampai masanya bila kan sekarang ni dah habis SPM you kena berfikir cara orang besar lah cara orang dewasa you cuba pandang diri you 5 tahun daripada sekarang ataupun 3 tahun dari sekarang apa ataupun kat mana you akan berada so jangan gusar jangan rasa takut ok um, boleh mencuba ya yeah, saya menggalakkan sangat mencuba bidang health science ni dan boleh mengikut minat-minat you mengikut program yang kita ada. Okay, saya rasa itu saja ah, dari saya. Saya nampak tak. Those are some thank you doctor for that very inspiring uh, you know uh, sharing about all our courses here in the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences and Management and Science University. So everyone if you are aware you know if you are inspired to you know join up in any of the health science mm. programs I would just like here to highlight that here in Management Science University currently until from the 4th up to the 30th August we currently have an MSU Edu Carnival 2023 where all our mm. academic counselors will be happy to answer and you know have you know if you want to book an appointment right just call us up you can press in the link of MSU www.msu.edu.my and press and you know just register and you know book one of our academic counselors and they will be happy to you know to further answer your inquiries on all the programs that we have not only the health and life sciences but everything so just join us and come to our campus all right from the 4th up to the 30th of august and if you successfully registered you can get up to or more than 20000 are entering it scholarship all right so thank you again once again for joining us here in the MSU podcast for today's session for beyond the lab code thank you <laughs>